we'll just show you our garden. We finally finished it. You guys go play now. In this wing we have the wavy bikinis. And that's actually Esperanza. And it has um, little yellow trumpet type flowers. But right now it's not flowering. Um, over here we have hydrangeas that aren't flowering right now either. <laughs> Uh, a pink and a blue. In the corner, there's coral honeysuckle and caladiums. And over here, we have this is a hybrid rose bush and it's uh, orange. Um, very unusual flowers. We have a yellow rose, and right here, we have uh, dahlias. And they're just starting to come up, and they're supposed to be real big with um, plate size blossoms on them. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if that actually happens. Moving on, we have, uh, these are pentas and a sago palm and zinnias. And this is a, an Armstrong rose and it's a, a miniature rose bush. And it produces these really cute little miniature roses. And mom, do you recognize that uh, plaque that we got in Michigan? We came to visit in uh, Mother's Day. That's where I decided to put it. And uh, we have another little dahlia right here trying to come up. And a red rose. And begonias. <laughs> More. This is a penta. It has a uh, actually has all these little blooms that makes one flower. Okay, it's really cute. Does real well in the Texas heat. These are Asian lilies that are bright yellow, um, but all the flowers have bloomed. And another little dahlia back there. More pentas. More zinnias. Um, This is a, uh, a pink rose, I forget its name, but it uh, has um, clusters and stems. And a miniature rose, a sago, and a zinnia, and pentas. And this is a salmon colored rose, which um, Real pretty. Slightly different from this other rose bush, which is apricot. Um, real pretty rose on that one. And more coral honeysuckle in the corner. And caladiums. And these are hydrangeas over here, too. But they've, they're have they working on their second blooms. And uh, the little umbrella in the PVC is uh, just a way to create some shade. And, oh, Dan, come in and get the little kitty cat right here. That's the one Linda gave me. I have one in the house, and I put one out here in the garden. And these are more wavy petunias. And Esperanza, again, you can see the one little trumpet that's starting right there. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. I have another plant on the patio. Marla, do you see the, uh, the plaque that you gave me for my birthday? Looks real nice right there. Okay. This is uh, Lantana, and it's on its second blooming, and it produces these real pretty little pink flowers. And this is a hibiscus from last year, but I managed to get it through the winter, but so far, no flowers. This is salvia, and it went through. It's blooming already, but it has these tiny little red um, little flowers on it. They're real pretty. So I'm hoping it'll go through a second bloom. This is Esperanza with the little yellow bells, and all of these are new and starting to open. Um, real pretty. 
flower that grows here in Texas. And some more wavy petunias. Can you look this way? Yeah. These good babies. Well, the kitty cats are enjoying the evening and uh, I'll say goodbye and I hope you like looking at our garden. What a project. <laughs> I'm not sure I ever want to do it again. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. <laughs>